Graham Blundell, and welcome back to Crime Spree Week. And tonight, it's the engrossing gangland thriller, The Valachi Papers. Directed by Terence Young, the man who put Sean Connery's James Bond 007 on the map, it stars Charles Bronson, who gives an inspired performance as mock chief Joe Valachi, who decides to talk with the authorities and tell the entire story of his recruitment into the mob and his service for a succession of bosses. Produced by Dino Dorentis, it's based on Peter Ma's 1968 novel, The Valachi Papers, which covers the history of the mafia in the US, as told by Joseph Valachi, a high-ranking made man in the organisation who testified for the government a few years before. Presented in flashback and bookended by Valachi's time in prison, the movie's main strengths are a quality screenplay by Stephen Geller and some excellent performances as the film brutally barrels through the gangster's life, barely pausing when comrades and family members perish violently. The film hits a lot of shocking notes, including a memorably bloody barber chair cut down and a nasty castration. The story begins in the early 1960s when Bronson's mob chieftain, Joe Valachi, realizing that his enemy, Vito Genovese, Lino Ventura, has put a kill order out on him, decides to talk becoming the most famous traitor in the history of the criminal underworld. You just made up my mind on the people of this. $20,000 for Joe Valachi. Both men are serving long sentences, but nothing has changed. Joe must ward off several hit attempts abetted by the prison yeah, guards yeah. before FBI agent Ryan, Gerald S. O'Loughlin, puts him under special protection and gets out his notebook. Okay. Malachi tells the entire story of his recruitment into the mob and his service for a succession of bosses. Hello, Malachi. Now, most would eventually be murdered by their own royal colleagues. Bronson at the time, a 51-year-old actor of Lithuanian descent, doesn't look much like the Italian Valachi, but he gives an inspired, surprisingly emotional and focused performance, and ages 30 years throughout, convincingly. Joseph Wiseman is good too, with a powerful performance as the traditional capo who reads eight languages and bases his decisions on his studies of Julius Caesar. Oh, this is a Caesar as a high priest of Jupiter. This is a Caesar as a Roman consular. This is a Caesar as a dictator and architect of the Roman Empire. French actor Lino Ventura looks more Sicilian than anybody. He exudes real strength and decorates the movie with his ever-present scowl. Shut up! And British actress Jill Ireland, married to Bronson in real life and co-starring with him for the seventh time, is given little to do as Valachi's wife except look good, which she does quite well. So sit back and enjoy this roller coaster crime entertainment, an enthralling gangland thriller, evoking the breakneck pace of the old Warner Brothers crime classics, and which is a fine showcase for Charles Bronson. Terence Young's The Valachi Papers. about the Valachi Papers. Producer Dino Laurentiis uh, claimed that much of the Valachi Papers had to be filmed in Italy for fear of mafia intervention on American soil. But great huckster that he was, Dino was no stranger to hyperbole and that claim has always been taken with a grain of salt. As for Valachi in real life, despite having taken a blood oath to live by the gun and knife and die by the gun and knife, Valachi died in prison of heart disease at age 68.